Explaining and demonstrating core XY can be quite difficult. It's not immediately obvious how the axes move in relation to one another or how you can really demonstrate why. But I think I've found a pretty amazing way. All that you need to do this is a flat surface and two pieces of paper. White is obviously easiest uh, and A4 size is probably about right. Place the two pieces of paper on your surface. Cross them over, one on top of the other, so that they're perpendicular to each other. Now the rules that we're going to set up is that each piece of paper can only move left or right. That's right, left and right only. Not up and down, not off the desk or anything like that. Left and right. The part you want to concentrate on is the edge of the paper closest to you. More specifically, the point where the two edges cross over or intersect. That point there is what we're going to call our nozzle, if you will, on a 3D printer or laser. That's our point of interest that we're looking to move around. Now, take the right hand piece of paper and move it left and right a bit and watch how that intersection moves. As you move it to the right, it seems to move diagonally. And if you move it to the left, it also moves diagonally. So let's look at a Core XY printer and see how that also does the same thing. You move just the right hand motor and you get just the same diagonal movement. So what about that other piece of paper? Does it still work? Well, let's try. Move the left hand piece of paper and compare it against the Core XY printer. I think on its own, that's pretty amazing. You can demonstrate how Core XY works with all these belts and turns and stepper motors just with two pieces of paper. But wait, there's more. Now let's try moving both pieces of paper. So keep them sort of together, but move them both to the left and both to the right. Pretty obvious, the intersection point just moves left and right. Let's compare that to the Core XY printer. If you move both motors in the same direction, it goes one way. You move them both in the other direction, and it goes the other way. Now for the last part, we need to move up and down or forwards and backwards, whatever orientation you like to look at it as. And to do this, we move the pieces of paper in opposite directions. So the left piece can go left, the right piece can go right. And you see how the point moves upwards. And comparing this to the Core XY printer, we can see, you guessed it, exactly the same thing. Rotating the motors in opposite directions gives you your forwards and backwards movement. And now for my final trick, I'm going to move both pieces of paper in order to make a circle 